back in the South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating. It's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk. That can get Christmas shoes. All right, man. We back. Me, Dolo. Had a guest this morning. The guest had to cancel. We're going to get him back on here, man. Big Darrell Eskridge is going to come through. Former Syracuse player. Um, talk to us about his story. Miami Central, what's going on there? They got state this week. X. X had some personal issues he had to deal with. So it's just your boy. We're going to get into a couple of things. It's hotter than slave feet out here, dog. Dang. First off, man, members, check it out. Go to the in the description if you want to become a member, man. This thing been ramping up a little bit, man. We got like three three different levels of members now. We got the highest level, a hundred dollars, with the ones who want to come by, come be a part of the show, come sit in on the show, and then then it goes all the way down to like eight dollars for the members. Um, I think it's eight, and then it's six. All y'all have to go by the community section. And go get the link to come be a part of the group me. I think we have like 80, 80, 80 people in the group me now. We're trying to get there. But we're thinking about doing the member thing a little different. Uh, we're thinking about doing the member thing a little different. We may create our own cane space. So y'all just be on the lookout for that, man. We may filter everybody to our own little cane space and have our own little space uh, with a membership on it. Uh, since we are the info leader, seems like we seem to be dropping info there. Speaking of being the info leaders, article comes out saying Joe Brady saying he wants to stay in the league. Um, when we drop this info, right, we drop it at real time. Uh, we drop it at real time. And a lot of times, it's not the info where it's like, hey, huh, hmm, Joe Brady just signed. He's our guy. And then the info gets dropped. Hey, Joe Brady signed. It's, it's dropped like, hey, man, we just, we, 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 listen, Joe Brady's the dude. He like us, we like them, and then we get the we get the info from a source that we trust, and we run with it. But sometimes when they sit down and the negotiations start, like sometimes the two part, the two side, the, the, the two parties aren't on the same side, aren't on, aren't on the right side, or they don't see things the same way. So an article comes out basically saying Joe Brady wants to stay in the NFL. Who knows? That could be him. That could be his agent or some fishing to get more money. But we'll see how that part how that part plays out. I wasn't a huge Joe Brady guy anyway, to be honest with you. you gotta watch the mic. I wasn't a huge Joe Brady guy anyway. Um, I was trying to figure out how did he catch lightning in a bottle like that. If you go to look at his Wikipedia and the places he's been, he's only been a few places. He was in college football one year. He had Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, and. <laughs> Al Toon or somebody. I mean, the man had three NFL wide receivers and and a, and a and a legend for a quarterback. So I really can't put that on him. I know a lot of y'all say, "Hey, man, before he got there, before he got there, they weren't doing the things that they were doing." But you can't show me that in, in one year. So um, the jury was out on me with the Joe Brady thing. Um, I think we could do a little better with with the three million we run around here with the bag. Mario running around here toting. I felt that we could do a little better. I don't, I, I don't care. We just get somebody that's, that's a vet. that has been out here a while. Uh, I just wasn't big on the hot name that Ed Orgeron had something to say about. Teddy Bridge would have something to say about. So we'll, we'll be watching the Joe Brady. We'll be watching the Joe Brady thing. Um, y'all make sure y'all go follow us on Twitter. Go follow us. Caneville 305, Footballville. That's where we drop a lot of the news at in the Twitter space. Next thing, took a look at this kid, Cyrus Moss, um, out of out of Vegas, a Bishop Gorman. This kid is like 6'6". Six, six. Uh, somebody, it's Greg Russo. It's not Greg Russo all again, man. If you go look, watch this kid film, this kid is amazing. Uh, his athleticism, uh, look like a basketball player or something. Um, his athleticism is 
it's, 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 it's better than Greg Russo was, to be, to be quite frankly. And Greg Russo is in the NFL right now doing his thing. Uh, he came down on a visit this weekend. Um, we hear all the kids um, having a great time uh, because Mario is here. Once you get a new head coach, you get a chance to those. Once, it, once your coach is fired and a new head coach come in, the new head coach gets a chance to get official visits and actually bring kids back on official visits the second time. So we got a couple kids in, Nigel Kelly, yeah, a lot of kids in actually um, came down to the visit. Um, came to visit this weekend and are still here right now. Heard the kids are having a great time. Uh, no silent commits, nobody committed anything of that nature. Uh, commitment week is this week, it's coming up. So we'll be watching that. But man, back to this kid Moss, five-star kid. And because Mario, we have a chance to get him. Now he's an edge rusher. So the question is, let him know in the comment section below. Did you take, could you take? Kelly, Moss, and Stewart. Do you take all three edge rushers in the class? Um, those are some big time names. Let us know in the comment section below, man. Do you take all three, all three of those edge rushers in the class? Um, but that's but but that's that's big time. And and I think having Mario here, having Mario here, will will get us to that 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 next level of recruit that we have kind of fell off from 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 pulling in consistently um i think shamar stewart is now considering even though he's at texas a m for the weekend i think he's now considering miami more uh i think kids at that level will consider miami more and in a few years they won't be calling miami the small school anymore <laughs> like the shamanda quarterback called him uh miami the small school I think that's the value of having somebody with Mario and the respect that he that he brings. Not that he's just not, not only that he's a big guy, <laughs> he's just a big guy, imposing guy, O line guy. So you know he's physical. Uh, he brings the respect of of, of 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 being in the playoff, the playoff hunt, winning Pac-12 championships, the Nike thing, the whole Oregon coolest coolest football team in in, in, in college football right now. So he comes in with that respect, so he demands that respect. Uh, doesn't really have to earn it from the kids or from the recruits. Um, from an O-line standpoint, him and, his, him and his guy are respected across the country when it comes to O-line. Uh, so a problem that we had before should be immediately fixed with Mario when it comes to pulling in kids for O-line because they know they'll come here They'll get the teaching. They'll get the. They'll get. They'll get ready and be ready for the for the NFL. Cause at this point, that's all. That's what it is. That's what it is. At this point, is is. Can you get these kids ready for the NFL? It's not necessarily the experience they have in college, man. These kids are going to college because they want to make it to the next level. Now, with this news coming out with Texas and NIL. The destination may be, hey man, can we make it to college? Because if Texas is about to play their offensive linemen, fifty thousand each through the NIL, because they're saying that the offensive linemen don't get NIL deals as much as the skilled players. That right there just changed the game. The game has completely changed. If they figure out a way to pay the offensive linemen fifty thousand through the NIL. Which is totally possible because if you can give a kid five hundred dollars a month, like University of Miami did, you can give a kid fifty thousand dollars a month. Totally possible. If they figure that out, that has changed the game. College football may become the destination to make it to. Kids may walk away with a chunk of money that, if they did the right thing with, it could set them up for their future. Some kids like. I would think that, listen, De'Ara King, first, first to show NIL. I can only imagine he's a millionaire. I can only imagine that De'Ara King is a millionaire because I have some inside information. Uh, shout out to Edge. My sponsor had De'Ara King on the table. This close to signing a deal with De'Ara King. And it was basically, yeah, it was a million dollar deal, multi-million dollar deal. And he couldn't take it because he was already in the deal with a drink company. 
So how much was that deal for? So I can only imagine that King walked away as a millionaire, believe it or not. You see him on the sideline with all that swiggy swag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's one of those things that if you don't think about it, if you wasn't in the, on the inside, like, like we were on the inside, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that he had a deal on the table for Edge that was worth multi-millions, uh, equity in the company, a, a, a lot he had on it that he wanted to take but couldn't take because he had jumped in, signed some paperwork with another drink company. Um, that's college football. That's where we are. So we talk about all the time how it's going to be harder for these kids to go high level D1. It's going to be harder for these kids uh, to get into college. But it's also going to be a bag there. It's also going to be something there. It, it, it's, it's going to be a destination where they can get paid and change their family's life. It really is. So the stakes are higher, but also the journey is going to be a little harder. I, like I just can't keep saying, keep football, keep baseball in mind. I um, had a friend get drafted out of high school in baseball. It's a long road to baseball. You start in the triple Z, then you end up in the triple U, then you end up in the double K. It's a long road to baseball. Football has just upped the ante, but the journey is actually going to be for the people that really, really, the, the athletes that really, really want it. Uh, because it's not going to be as easy. Not like it was easy before, but the road isn't going to be as defined as it was before. Y'all make sure y'all stay locked in, man. Make sure y'all hit like, share. I'm D. Dolo by myself out here, chilling by the pool, Miami. South Beach vibe with the Mickey Mouse shirt on. Stay locked in with us, man. IOD squad, investor die. We out. Three, man.